Uh, I am Bashar Kurdi. I will present our work with Hasan Yunusoroğlu and Mehmet Fatih Hamasyalı on semantic similarity-based filtering for Turkish paraphrase of set creation. Uh, our main motivation is that paraphrase generation can be applied in several fields, like translation evaluation, question answering, uh, data augmentation, and chatbots. Uh, but the main obstacle that we face uh, is the lack of uh, large paraphrase data sets, especially in the Turkish language and other under-resourced languages. Uh, this creates a challenge in front of researchers. Uh, so we propose an automatic pipeline for data set creation. Uh, where we take a parallel bilingual data set and the tra then translate the sentences in the other language, which is English in our case, to the Turkish language. Uh, so here's our pipeline. First, we have a raw data set consisting of uh, pairs that are translations of each other. In our case, this, these are pairs in the English and in the Turkish uh, languages. Then we pro process these pairs. This is done uh, differently for each data set according to its characteristics. The pre-processed data sets are then uh, provided to a translation mod model. So the, uh, the pairs that are in the other language, which is English, are, trans are provided to a translation model. Uh, at this step, we have pairs uh, both in Turkish and the Turkish language, uh, but we are not sure uh, of their authenticity because uh, noise can be generated from the translation model and it can be originated in the original data set as well. Uh, so to uh, improve the quality of our data set and to get only the paraphrases from the data set, we uh, first pre-process it and then we uh, give the pre-processed pairs to a semantic similarity model uh, where we filter out the pairs that have low semantic similarity. This will be discussed later. Uh, the resulting data set uh, will have pairs both in Turkish that are uh, high quality paraphrases. For semantic similarity filtering, and this is uh, a challenge that we had to tackle, this is the main contribution uh, of our uh, work. Uh, to filter the pairs, we considered using uh, semantic similarity models, and we had uh, several options to choose from. First, we, can, we could use uh, by encoders where we get an embedding for every sentence, and then we can compare the vectors using cosine similarity, for example. Or we can, there are some models that accept two sentences as an input and output a score of similarity. Uh, but the problem remains is uh, the choice of the threshold to filter out pairs that have a score, similarity score, lower than, than this, this threshold. Uh, to choose a threshold, we created a human annotation tool uh, where we asked native speakers of the Turkish language to annotate 500 pairs uh, that we used as ground truth labels for our filtering. Uh, so the annotators were presented with four labels. Uh, each these are inspired by uh, the publication of Kurtz and Matthias in 2018. The labels are synonyms, near synonyms, distant meanings, or uh, the pairs were labeled as having no relevance. Uh, if the annotators, each pair was uh, annotated by two annotators. If they agreed, we chose the label that they agreed on. If they disagreed with the difference of one, so if one of them said that the pairs have uh, are synonyms and another said that they are near synonyms, Please go ahead, I didn't hear you. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't ah? understand. You, you are, can you mute? You are talking. Uh, about... uh, مالا مالا انت تقول لهم خلاص اليوم انت يا غدو ما شاء الله نبداو كالعاده هذه هي السيشن الاخيره دكتور اوكي اوكي اول بريسيد سو اف ذي ديس اجريد وذ وان وذ ديفرنس اوف وان وي تشوز ذا لابل انديكيتينغ ليس سيمانتيك سيميلاريتي هل حكي I hope that you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, we can hear. I'll continue. Uh, so, to experiment with our method, we chose three data sets: Open Subtitles, which is a large database of movie and TV subtitles across sixty languages, uh, and the Tatoba data set, which is a crowdsource uh, data set 
where it has pairs translated by humans. And TED 20, 2013, which is uh, TED Talks subtitles that are translated automatically, this led to significant noise and we decided to not continue with our experience with TED. We provide the translated and the filtered versions of the TED 2013 uh, on our GitHub page. So to uh, choose a model to filter out uh, pairs that have low semantic similarity, uh, we filtered out 95% of the pairs labeled as having distant meanings or uh, no relevance. After removing those pairs, we looked at the percentage of, uh, the, of the valid pairs kept. So which model has the highest recall of uh, our uh, valid pairs? Paraphrases. This is what we looked at. And uh, Emrejan, a, a model that we labeled Emrejan, outperforms the other models. So we continued with it. We used it uh, for our filtering method or filtering step. Here are the numbers of the kept pairs after each step. As you can see, semantic similarity based filtering left out a lot of the pairs uh, in accordance with uh, humanly annotated uh, pairs that we used. Uh, this suggests that uh, the pairs that we had after uh, translating uh, the pairs uh, in the other language had a lot of pairs that are not paraphrased actually. Uh, for our results, so right now we have uh, data sets that have uh, pairs in Turkish, both in Turkish, that we suppose they are paraphrases. How can we evaluate uh, our filtering methods? We used to pre-train uh, sequence to sequence uh, models. NT5 base is trained by Google. TR BART is a variant of BART trained by a team in a university in Turkey uh, on Turkish data sets. Uh, and the results here show all the metrics that you see here indicate similarity. Uh, TER indicates uh, measures uh, distance, not similarity. Uh, the NT5 base model trained on the open subtitles data set outperformed all the other models. Uh, on both data sets, on the Tatoba test data set and the open subtitles test data set. This suggests also that our open subtitles data set is better than uh, the other data sets that we tested the models on. Uh, this uh, shows the difference between the data sets, but we also wanted to uh, see the effects of our filtering method. So we trained our sequence to sequence architectures on the unfiltered versions of our uh, data sets. As you can see from the results, despite the unfil that unfiltered versions of our data sets have largely more uh, pairs than our uh, filtered data sets, our, filtered, our models trained on the filtered versions outperformed them. So this results that are shown here, uh, if I can clarify further from the pipeline, uh, we, get the we get the pairs that are pre-processed after translation and compare them and train a model on them and compare them with uh, the models trained on the paraphrase that set we get after semantic similarity based filtering. So this uh, shows that filtering according to semantic similarity, despite having a huge difference in the number of pairs, uh, the models trained on the filtered pairs are uh, performing better than the other models. Uh, we plan to uh, combine lexical and semantic similarity into a single metric to filter out uh, in a similar manner to filter out pairs that we uh, determine as uh, non-paraphrases because our uh, semantic similarity based filtering uh, keeps out a lot of the a lot of the pairs uh, that we want want them to be actually uh, determined as paraphrases so we want also to uh, add lexical sim lexical similarity to our filtering method uh, and we want also to see the effect of that augmentation on different tasks so our uh, generated our trained paraphrase generation models will be used for that augmentation for several tasks like tasks like translation clustering and classification and also we want to see the effects of curriculum learning where we can uh, order the, the pairs according to their diversity, for example. Uh, human evaluation will be also provided for the generated paraphrases on several axes, axes like diversity, fluency, clarity, and semantic similarity. So in summary, uh, we propose a method for the paraphrase that set creation, and we provide all uh, the largest yet created Turkish that set paraphrase data sets. We share them publicly on the link below our trained models checkpoints are also provided in the link below. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please go ahead.